So there I was, doing what I normally do, searching the internet for credit cards with the highest sign-up bonuses. I then came across the Barclays JetBlue Plus credit card. This card right now is offering a 100,000 point bonus. You get 50,000 points after spending $1,000 and paying the annual fee within the first 90 days. Then you get an additional 50,000 points after having spent $6,000 within the first 12 months. For a credit card that has an annual fee of $99, a 1,000 point bonus is really high. JetBlue is considered a budget airline. I've flown my fair share of comparable airlines such as Frontier or Spirit, but none of them even compares. The planes are generally really nice and they give you unlimited free snacks and drinks. It doesn't get any better than that. Some of the flights nowadays don't even hand out anything. In today's video, I'm gonna do a deep dive on a Barclays JetBlue Plus credit card, go over the true blue points, how this card compares to others, and whether or not it is worth it. What's up winners, my name is Nam. If you're new here, welcome. Here we talk all things personal finance and credit. So start now by subscribing so you don't miss out on any future videos. So first things first, whenever you watch this video, travel may or may not be within your plans for 2021, but you can save these points for future travels. One of my recent flights with JetBlue is when I was going to New York from LA, and it was a great flight, but let's take a look at what other routes that JetBlue has to offer. The majority of the flights are based out of New York, but they have other hubs in Boston, Fort Lauderdale, LA, and Orlando. Compared to other major airlines, their routes may be limited depending on where you live, but if you live in one of these major cities that do carry JetBlue, then it is definitely worth looking into. Now let's move on to the card itself. The first thing we're gonna talk about is the sign-up bonus. If you spend $1,000 right off the bat, you're gonna get 50,000 JetBlue points. After you spend $6,000 within the first 12 months, you're gonna get another 50,000 points, making it a total of 100,000 TrueBlue points. The problem with points and miles is that it can vary depending on how you use them. It's kind of one of those annoying things with the point system. So let me give you a real life example of how much your points can actually be worth. So now let's just say that you want to book a round trip flight from LA to New York. So for my departing flight, if I were to just to take the blue basic, it will cost me $99. So for the return flight from New York, it will cost exactly the same. Now let's take a look at the same trip using your points. As you can see here, we can save some money going to New York, but we want to go straight to New York, so it's going to cost us 8,700 points with $5.60 of taxes and fees. So to get the true value of how much these points will be worth, I will take $99 minus $5.60 then divide by 8,700 points. Now this would roughly give us about one cent per point. This is actually a pretty good return on points because credit cards that tend to use points and miles, their true valuation of those points are most likely less than that. So for the base of this video, let's just say that one JetBlue point is one cent. So for the initial welcome offer of 100,000 points, that could be worth $1,000 more or less. Again, to get the full 100K points, you have to spend $6,000 within the first year. So from an ROI standpoint, you'll get a 16.7% return on your money. After subtracting the annual fee of $99, your effective cash value of that bonus will roughly be around $900. Now let's keep it moving with other ways to earn true blue points. You can earn six times the points on JetBlue purchases, two times the points at restaurants and grocery stores, and one times the points on all other purchases. So based on their website, there are no blackout dates, the points don't expire, and you have unlimited earning. And also on the topic of points, you can earn 5,000 points every anniversary year. So if each point is worth one cent, this could be $50 that reduce your annual fee of $99. So effectively, after your first year, moving forward, essentially you're just paying $49 per year for this card. Now let's talk about some of the other perks that go along with this card. You get 50% off in-flight purchases, there's no foreign transaction fees, and there's zero fraud liability. But one of my favorite benefits about this card is that you can get your first check bag for free up to three travel companions on the same reservation. In addition, if you are a big spender, you can get an automatic mosaic status after spending $50,000 within the first calendar year. This is just JetBlue's version of the Premium Flyers Club, where you get extra perks, discounts, and credits if you are eligible. Also with this card, when you use your true blue points on JetBlue flights, you can get additional 10% back on those points. So actually, I did not take that into consideration previously. So now let's recalculate the value of your points. So in our original calculation, instead of dividing by 8,700 points, we would divide it by 7,830. With a 10% reimbursement, based off this calculation, you'd roughly get around 1.2 cents per point. So actually that 100 point bonus can actually be worth up to $1,200. So that's one hell of a steal compared to an annual fee of $99. There are not that many credit cards out there that do offer that high of a welcome offer. The only thing that comes close to this is the Chase Inc. Business Preferred Card, which gives you $1,250 of Chase Ultimate Reward Points after you spend $15,000 within the first three months. So back on the perks of this card, since this is the World MasterCard, you get all the perks and benefits that come along with MasterCards. So a few of them that do stand out is trip delay protection, trip cancellation coverage, cell phone insurance, free shop runner membership, and price protection. 
Another perk that this card does give you is lift credits. If you take 5 rides in a month, you get a $10 credit. I really don't like this credit just due to the fact that you would have to take lift rides to receive this credit. So if you're going out of your way just to get 10 bucks, it really doesn't make any sense. Now let's talk about other credit cards that the JetBlue Plus card frequently gets compared to. The first one that we're going to go over is a Chase Sapphire Preferred card. The obvious reason is that the annual fee of both these cards are about the same. The Chase Sapphire card has an annual fee of $95. Now let's move on to the sign-up bonus. At the making of this video, you can receive 60,000 bonus points after you spend $4,000 within the first three months. If you were to redeem this for travel through the Chase Ultimate Rewards portal, your points could be worth up to $750. But if you were to take it just for cash back, then it would just be worth $600. So from a ROI standpoint, this roughly comes out to be around 18.8%. Another perk with Chase cards is if you have other Chase cards that earns ultimate reward points, you can always transfer those points and get a 25% boost as well. In addition to this card, you also get two times the points on restaurants and travel, and also one times the points on everything else. The rewards here are really not all that great given that it is a travel card. It is very comparable to JetBlue since you do get two times the points at restaurants and groceries, but you do get six times the points if you were to use it on JetBlue purchases. Now moving on to our next card, this will be the Capital One Venture Rewards credit card. With this card, there's an annual fee of $95, and after you spend $3,000 within the first three months, you get 60,000 miles. This is about $600 worth of travel, so from a ROI standpoint, this is roughly around 20%, which is higher than both the Chase card and the JetBlue card. The thing about Venture Miles is that you get the most value when you do book it for travel. If you were to redeem it just for cash back, it will be half a cent, so that $600 would just be worth $300. In addition, you also get two times the miles per dollar spent on every purchase. The last card that we will compare this card to will be the City Premier card. This one too has an annual fee of $95, and you can earn 60,000 points as you spend $4,000 on purchases within the first three months. So depending on how you use your City points, it can range anywhere from half a cent all the way up to one cent per point. As for cash back, 60,000 points will be worth 300 bucks. If you were to use this for airfare, this would be worth one cent. So 60,000 points would be worth $600. So this is very similar to the Venture Capital One card. You can also earn three times the points on airfare, hotels, gas stations, restaurants, and supermarkets, and one times the points on all other purchases. So for a credit card that has an effective annual fee of roughly around $49, this is actually pretty good because with most credit cards, you're going to get most of the value from the first year since they do have a hefty sign-up bonus. 50,000 points after spending $1,000 is a 50% ROI, and to get the rest of the 50,000, you would just have to spend up to $6,000. Effectively, this will make a return on investment at around 16.7%, which is kind of low compared to the other credit cards out there, but even if you were just to take the $1,000 spend, this card is still worth it. You do get some extra value from this card since you do get a free check bag and a 10% redemption on JetBlue flights, so this could be a good option if you do fly with JetBlue quite often. But if you don't live near an airport that has JetBlue, then this card really has little value to you unless you want to transfer those points to different type of cards. Even after the first year, if you don't see that much value from this card, then you can always go ahead and downgrade to the no annual fee JetBlue card. So before I wrap things up, if you guys want some free socks, one with Robinhood, and four with Rebull, I got affiliate links down in the description if you guys want to support the channel. I'll see you guys in my next videos.